the Imedixandro Palace. I was down under the original Kyle Anderson. Final game on the opening day of the Happy Bet European Dance Match Play live from Hamburg. And it's Australia versus the Netherlands as Kyle Anderson, the original, takes on the lipstick Christian Kiss. One of the top players from Australia against a former Lakeside World Champion. Anderson, a man who has threatened. He may be the next cab off the rank when you're looking at a new winner of a PDC senior event. He's certainly come close, perhaps no closer than on the European Tour in Austria when he went to the semi-finals and looked to be the best player there. He should have beaten Phil Taylor, had darts to do it. Taylor went on to claim the title. Christian Kiss still searching for his first PDC title. He's made a couple of finals in the last few months, but none in 2017. He's not even made a quarter final in 2017. Christian Kiss just has these days every now and again where he shows his ability and potential. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, first leg Kyle to throw first. Game on! It's Anderson v Kiss for a place in the second round to face the defending champion James Wade. I'm Dan Dawson, Rob Malarkey alongside me. Yeah, and Christian Kiss almost Nine. had one of those days in Gibraltar when he faced Michael Smith. He was one of Smith's victims last month. He trailed the bully boy 5-2 clawed his way back to 5-5 five five and then went out in the decider. So, as you say, on his day, can have his days, if you know what I mean. Well, that was Michael Smith's MO for that weekend in well, Gibraltar, wasn't he? Every single game final. was 6-5 apart six from five. the final, which he won 6-4. He did it the hard way. He did it a fantastic way, though. Every single leg, it the deciders were great. Great to see Michael Smith get back on the uh, winning well, podium well, uh, well, in Gibraltar and wouldn't put it past him to uh, do likewise this weekend as well. Michael Smith's turn will come tomorrow. Right now, though, it's all about who will One. advance to the second round to face James Wade, the defending champion. Mm. James Wade beating Dave Chisnell in the final here last year, the year before One. when this tournament was in Austria. It was Michael Van Gerwen who claimed the title. Kissed another man who has produced a nine-dart leg this year. One of the 19 we've had this year. Almost had 20, almost had 21. With Adrian Lewis going very close earlier tonight against Vincent van der Voort. The was by his, uh, when he Kyle played Lewis. In a defeat, a 6-1 defeat by Lewis in the sixth UK Open qualifier when Kist came up with the perfect leg. 74. Very nearly a 10-plus checkout for Kyle Anderson. Kist looking to break. Double 16. 30. Kyle will require 40. Last start. Game shot. Finds his mark. Leg. Double 10 Kyle will do for Anderson. Kyle Anderson. Second Holds his throw on a 1 0 lead. The Aussie based in Nottingham nowadays. Four times he's made the quarterfinals of an event 45. in 2017. Yet to go further, but as I said, he may be the next cab off the rank when you look at new PDC winners. We've seen Darrell Gurney and Joe Cullen claim their first PDC titles this year. Kyle Anderson could well be the next man to join that club. Certainly got the ability. I've got a huge amount of admiration for Kyle Anderson as a dart player. And had he not had those... A few months at the back end of the last year when he had visa problems and wasn't allowed to be back in the UK. Who knows what he could have achieved. He certainly missed out on a lot of ranking money. He is in the top 32, but he would be higher 
and wow. he was playing some really good darts at the time. Missed out on the Players' Championship Finals, missed out on the World Championship Final. Two big paydays. But despite that absence, I mean, the, the way he responded wow. and came back, you have to take your hat off to him. He uh, came back to uh, action in the UK Open qualifiers, made the last eight in a couple of those, made the quarters in the first Players' Championship event of the wow. year as well. Wow. 34, Kyle, you know, many people, many players would have been derailed by that enforced absence, but not Kyle Anderson. He's not been derailed here as well, is he? Look at this. One hundred forty-two. Christina requirement. Well, still in a good shape to uh, find a break of throw hit. Even more so now. Ninety-nine. Kyle leaves himself tops, but it may be academic. Nine for double eight. Well, five for double ten. It is pin double ten last time out. I'm going to pick your dart up off the floor, doesn't help. Five score. Christian require 40. Yeah, chance for the break. Passing him by, you would feel here. Although that said, Christian Kiss looking Game at double shot turn the second and leg. Christian Kiss, third leg, Kyle to throw first. Mike the Decker's still there, by the way. You know, Mike Decker, part of the same management stable oh, as Kyle Anderson. Jimi Hendrix's mum is there as well. Hanging around. Big, wow. Lu Big Louis Hendrix is down there as well. Mm. Yeah. Dart's family correspondent Robert Malarkey there. I'm bringing you updates from various other family members here at the Darts wow. over the course of the weekend. And there we see. There it is. Just to clarify that our man Malarkey is on the ball and <laughs> always factually accurate. No fake news here on the European Tour. Four times these two have met in the past. Is that Maka looking very pensive down there? It is. Mac Elkin, he... Looks like he's meditated. Wow, he man, I'm He's not, no, but... Aston Villa fans don't meditate. They just dream. Mac Elkin, the manager, Kyle Anderson, as well as a whole host of top international talent in darts, the Hybrex brothers. Basically, if you're foreign and any good, you're usually managed by Mako. He's got a better stable than Aidan O'Brien. <laughs> That's saying something right now. Um, and he gets them all up at five in the morning for a run around the field. Peers through binoculars and smokes a big cigar while doing something. He does indeed. Four times these two have met in the past. Five. Two wins apiece. Including, back in 2014, the first meeting, Kyle Anderson won on his way to winning his tour card. Double top for a 2-1 lead. Ooh, just caught the flight there, seemed to drag it down. Oh, well, it can't be done now. Absolutely furious with himself there. 1-1-6, yeah. it's one of those double chances he can go for the treble 20. Hit... The trouble with either dart of your first two, and you get that dart at double 18. But double 10, double 5. Still double 5. Kist might have a chance here. Ten score. And he has got a chance. Pushing to require 36. For a break and a 2 1 lead. Nobody likes double 9, Rod Harrington says. 18. There's a reason. Kyle to require 10. Well, Kyle Anderson won the first leg, missed two darts, three darts, sorry, in the second. That's four darts missed in this one. Double two. Eight. Oh, dear. Christian, you require 18. Talking of Rod Harrington, Hamburg, the venue for his most recent stint on the European tour. As a commentator. Ten scores. Well... The less said about this one, the better right now, because both players really Game show on the third leg. struggling Anderson until Anderson takes out the ball one. And I think we'll put that one to bed. Well, it's three holes to throw, perhaps not oh. as straightforward as you might have expected. 23. My word. 23 for Christian Kist, and a real opportunity for Kyle Anderson to get the first break. If he can just pile something in, even one treble would do. 57. But that is beyond him. Both these guys coming through different qualifiers. Kyle Anderson, I know he's Australian, but he's based in the UK, coming through wow. the UK qualifier. Saw off John Norman Jr., who was... Animated. 
and entertaining <laughs> at the World Cup of Darts. And a little bit patronising at times as well, I thought. Basically assaulted George Noble a couple of times, <laughs> punching him on the shoulder just to tell him how well he'd done. Yeah, that was a 6-1 win, and then he edged out Wes Newton 6-5, did Kyle Anderson. Wow. It was the European qualifier for Christian Kist as a Dutch play, beat Jordi Maywisser 6-1, and then saw off Ron the Bomb Muhlenkamp 6-2. So pretty comfortable stuff for Christian Kist in coming through his qualifiers. But it's not comfortable at the minute for him. No, it was less comfortable for Anderson, 6-5 against uh, Wes Newton, as you say. And, uh, yeah, Kist once again just losing his way here momentarily, although he's got a little bit in hand here. Well, we saw Christian Kist, I mentioned he's made a couple of finals on the tour wow, in the last few months. Boosie. One of them was back in that weekend before the Grand Prix when they play a couple of Pro Tour events in Ireland, in Dublin. And he beat Kyle Anderson that day as he, he went on to the final. He was beaten in the final. Michael Van Gogh in doing for him. Pretty convincing win in the end. But he's just a, a solid player, is Christian Kidd. Now then, all of a sudden, double 11. Game oh. shot and a full flag. Chris Yankees, fifth leg, Kyle to throw first. Well, out of nowhere, given some of the finishing we had not too long ago, a 1-4-2 for Christian wow. Kiss. Oh. Just said he was solid. That is doing a complete disservice because that was spectacular from Christian well, Kiss, the 1-4-2 check-in. I think a lot of the crowd were totally <laughs> taken aback by that. Didn't realise it was on the cards. I, I'll be honest, they've had such a very, very odd day of darts that has been so dramatic. I think it has just taken wow. a taking something out of them we've had 18 darts missed for the match by players who have been knocked out of the tournament today we've had a player go seven perfect darts into the nine and then the very next leg go eight perfect darts into the nine and miss double 12 for the first perfect leg on the euro tour for four years ross smith breeze again We've had weird games where the momentum has just shifted. Four wow. legs one by one player, then four by the other. And then it's changed again. The John Michael match was bizarre as well. Oh, absolute madness here in Hamburg today. I don't know where today. to start with that one. 55. But we could be on for something John Henderson, equally odd here. John, yeah, John Henderson. Oh, it was it's all one. sorts. 4-1 down, win 6-4. A 160 checkout and another 170 checkout in gym. One on one. Kyle will require 106. Well, 106 for Kyle Anderson. But yet another hold of throw. It's off. Still on. 90. Not to be. Christian to require 106. Can't reply with a ton plus check out in response to Christian Kiss 142, but a 116. Well, this time he's going the 19s. He went the 20s last time. Ooh. Same effect, really, in that 56. he doesn't take it out. Carl will require 16. Well, Anderson hasn't been too convincing on the double so far today. And once again, he's having to switch over to double four. Game shot and a Which fifth leg. Out. Kyle Anderson, six leg. Very hard to over. predict a winner at this stage. It's flip-flopping. 66. Hist is prone to throwing the old trade dart here and there. So too is Anderson. 80. Well, this is for the right to face the defending champion, James Wade, in the next round. We, of course, have wow, all the other second Bolton. round games set up. Michael Van Gerwen back in Euro Tour action tomorrow. He'll be taking on John Henderson. Oh, 60 drops out the board for Kyle Anderson there. One but once he, he's done 20. a tout fest there. 60, bounce out the 60, stick another 60 in. Tout fest did that twice earlier on before going on to miss eight match darts on his Euro Tour debut. And that will compound the misery for Kyle Anderson. Won't it just? Yes, it certainly will. Oh, he's looking to uh, get back on track here. But... One on one. Kissed. Pushing to require 115. Six starts from here. Might only need three. Double 18. 97. Leaves that double nine. Anderson will know that he's not completely out of it, but he needs to apply pressure, and this isn't enough right now. 19. That might be. Christian, you require 18. 
Well, he's looking straight at it. No doubt about that. Mm, Nutting the wire. One Kenny more will do. Six leg. Christian Keith, seven and on leg. we go. Bowled Three apiece. Flip of a coin job, you could say, here as well. Anderson looking to reassert some One authority. And and 21. I'll run you down our fixtures 16. for tomorrow. This is in the draw bracket order. So Michael Van Gogh at the top of the draw takes on John Henderson. Mervyn King. That's in there, I think. It is in there. One That's and a maximum for Kyle Anderson. His first, second of the match in total. Yeah, Mervyn King, former winner on the European Tour, of course. 84. Takes on Richard North, a winner on his debut earlier on today. Long while ago now, beating Mickey Mansell 6-1 as Anderson looks to stay straight to leave wow. a ton. Well, now he's left 60, in fact. Good leg of darts this from Kyle Anderson. 20 for tops for an 11 darter. Is this game just warming up? 41. Carl will require 60. Yeah, it's just been simmering, hasn't it, for uh, the first five or six legs, but it could be about to hit a boiling point here as Anderson gets his nose back in front of 4-3. That's an 11 dart leg for the Aussie. Kim Hybrex, stable mate of Kyle Anderson, number eight seed. He takes on Peter Hudson. Another convincing display earlier on from Peter Hudson. Well, and 40 there. Oh, Alan Norris will face Marco Cantilli. Benito van der Pass takes on Vincent van der Voort in an all-Dutch clash. Joe Cullen and Justin Pipe square off. Well, it's the 34. Hammer versus the Wizard as Hamilton takes on the number four seed Simon Whitlock. Michael Smith, winner in Gibraltar, faces Mike Dedeka, who... <laughs> One today and then spent the rest of the time in the crowd. Peter Snake by right faces John Michael. Looked for all the world like it was going to be Eric Toutfest for a while. One. Chris O'Reyes and Nathan Aspinall square off. Yella Clarsen takes on Stephen Bunting. James Wade's got the winner of this one here. Dave Chisnell, finalist Simpson. in this tournament for the last two years, takes on Lethal Biscuit, James Wilson. Ian White and Peter Jakes doing battle. Mensur Sulevic against Dirk van Dijvenboder and Daryl Gurney, the Northern Irishman, against Jimi <laughs> Hendrix as Kyle Anderson fires in his second 180. And he's in control here. Kist needs another treble. 85. Kyle will require 87. As Kyle Anderson is looking at a break of throw here for a 5-3 lead. That was a single 17, Kyle, so... Oh, well, he just needed a fat 20, and he's got distracted there because he didn't 25. know if Kist was on a finish or not. And he perhaps should have known before he went and started throwing that first dart, because then it's completely clear in his mind. Because now, oh, if that second dart had found its way in, One you wouldn't have put it past Kist to 62. ping that double 18 to finish it off. But, uh, well, as it is, Anderson has got away with it. Still has work to do here, though. 16s, double eights, has had problems on eights already today, and he's 46. having problems there as well. Christian, you require 56. Well, two darts missed for the first break of throw in this match, and Christian Kiss to tie it all up at fours. Game That's exactly what we've got, level Christian game Kiss four apiece. Leg. Yeah, well played, Christian Kiss there. I mean, he was given a little bit of a helping hand, but Anderson... Really should have found himself 5-3 to One. the good there. As you say, perhaps guilty of not checking how Kiss was sitting. 58. Missed the uh, second up. Hit the five, and from that moment on, he was derailed. 100. A bit of a squeaky tongue call from Russ Bray. Well, Christian Kist has been sort of hanging in there all the way through this match, constantly going a leg behind, constantly having to come back and level. Had to survive a couple of darts well, there, which would have put Kyle Anderson really in the driving seat. Kist will start on the 19s here, staying on the 19s. Another treble he needs. And well, he gets it, gets down to a finish, forcing Anderson to use the bullseye. He won't give himself a chance at it. 
Well, he took out 142. Can he take out the biggest of the lots? First dart is absolutely perfect. The second dart, however, is not. One hundred and five. Well, Kyle Anderson. It was 62. He was looking at in the last leg. Couldn't take it out. That was exactly what he hit last time out. As was that. Carbon copy. 46. Christian exactly the same 65. result. And it's Christian Kist who gets a chance to break in the ninth leg. What could be the penultimate leg of the match. Perfect time to break. Sickening blow this would be for Anderson. Ends the wire. Game and it is a sickening blow. Leg. Kiss Christian gets Kiss. the first Same break. He is one leg first. away. Game on. After hanging on in there all the way through this one. Kiss has just nipped in front of the pacemaker, Kyle Anderson. And May, they're about to step over the finishing line. Would love to kick off with a ton 40 or something here just to get himself 59. going, but he's got anything but that. Encouragement here for Kyle Anderson. Oh, he hasn't really made the most of it with that first art either. Needs a big treble. 92. Well, that'll do. It's been a theme. Christian kissed on his own throw a number of times. He started off with a poor score, and Anderson really hasn't pressed home the advantage. 125. Kiss looking to press home the advantage now. Can Anderson keep pace? Well, it, he made it very hard for himself with that first dart. One of the things with Kyle Anderson, he's got very long points in his dart. So even when he puts a blocker in there, he can still see a lot of the bed. Hitting it is another matter, but he did so expertly there. And he's given himself a chance of getting to a finish before Christian kissed. That's why he comes down from the 19s. Now back up to the treble 20. Needs to find the treble. 59. Doesn't do it. Would have left him 170. Christian Kist closing in on a meeting with the defending champion wow. James Wade in the second round here in Hamburg tomorrow. 92 points away. Anderson needs to get into contention here and he's going the right way about it. Wow. Oh, isn't he just... He has done that to try and create some noise to put Christian Kist off. Will it work? Bullseye for the match. It's a tough one. Too tough in 55. the end. Anderson, the downside of going for the 180. Oh, it leaves him double 15. That looks good, but the pause suggests it isn't. As does that dart. But it's there. Anderson, unable to break through the whole game, breaks back when he had no other option. And final leg. It's Kyle to throw first. Double 15 is found. And it gives Anderson the advantage here as well. Well, are we going to see a fifth game today where a player 34. misses match darts and then is eliminated from the tournament? Christian Kist has missed the bullseye for a 6-4 win. And Kyle Anderson kicks 59. off 1-3-4 and has the game in the palm of his hand now. But in a match where Kyle Anderson has hit fewer than one in five of his darts at double, Kist will fancy his chances of getting some 60. sort of opportunity. Well, he had a chance to really shift the balance of power there, but he only registered 60. Uh, Kist... One round Still not done with just yet. McElkin watches on. No emotion on his face whatsoever. He has... I'm sure every faith that Anderson will get over the line here. 91. It is very much in the balance. I think we could have a situation where both players... One and one starts here. 32. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Kissed down to a finish first. Thinking clearly, at least there, Christian Kiss does get himself to a finish. But he may have to take it out. One and because one that 35. is a great Christian effort from Carl Anderson after a poor first dart. The 170 will not go, and Anderson should get at least one match dart at the bullseye. 54. Christian Kist has already missed the bullseye for victory in this 81. game. And he's left the 116. Kist has had 116 twice before. He's gone two different routes and failed to even give himself a dart for the double. And now he's in two minds already if he gets the opportunity because Kyle Anderson is looking at 81. Bullseye then he wants. 
for a 6-5 win in the final match of the day. 56. And the door is open once again for the Dutchman. Third time lucky. It might be, you know. Tops. 76. Oh, my word. A second match start miss Kyle, by the former Lakeside 25. champ. And Kyle Anderson will get two more match starts having missed the bullseye. It's double ten. Well, they took out double fifteen, didn't they? Just has to go next door. Game and shot. he goes next door. Kyle Anderson. And he opens the door and he walks through into the second round of the European darts match play here in Hamburg. A topsy-turvy encounter. And once again, Christian Kist has been beaten 6-5, as was the case at the hands of Michael Smith in Gibraltar last time out. He suffers a similar fate this time at the hands of Kyle Anderson. And Kyle Anderson is in business once again here on the European Tour. That brings an end to play on day one here in Hamburg. And what a truly brilliant day it has been as well. So many talking points, so many highlights. We will do it all again tomorrow when the top 16 seeds join the party. Among them, Michael Van Gerwen, the world champion, the defending champion, James Wade, and, of course, the three-time winner on the European Tour this year as well, Peter Wright. Um, it's all about doubles. I'd say that match was all about doubles. Yeah, Christian missed some, I missed some. Uh, Christian got some, I got some. But, um, no, it was all about missed doubles. We, threw, we both threw well. Christian took out two good checkouts and um, all to win, but I'm glad I hit double ten in the end. You're playing the defending champion tomorrow, James Wade? Um... As I say every other time, we're going to take every game as it is, and James can play well, I can play well. It's just a matter of who turns up on a day, and I'm hopefully, you know, I'm feeling good in myself, and uh, bring on tomorrow. Thank you very much, Kyle. Kyle Anderson, the original. Ihn sehen wir morgen wieder. Er wird morgen den Titelverteidiger herausfordern mit James Wade.